Hi, this is Almiru Pustazen with Cape Town Emergency Medicine, here today to talk about correct insertion of an oropharyngeal airway. An oropharyngeal airway is an airway adjunct used to prevent or treat airway obstruction caused by the sagging or collapse of upper airway soft tissue. The first step would be to select the correct size of airway. We can see here a selection of airways of different sizes. Please note that they are coded differently in terms of colors, but that manufacturers would use different color codes. So select the size correctly for your patient every time, rather than supplying or relying on a specific color. The best way to size your device is to lay it from the middle of the mouth, and the end of the OP airway should then reach or just go beyond the angle of the mandible. If we take a smaller device, you can clearly see that when laid by the middle of the mouth, the device ends in the middle of the cheek and is inappropriately sized. The optimal way to insert the OP airway is to insert it in the position of use. You could initially simply try to slide it gently into the mouth, but if the tongue or other soft tissues obstructs this insertion, an easy way to get around that is to take two or three tongue spatulas, hold them together, and use that to gently displace the tongue anteriorly while you slide the OP airway into the mouth. The flange of the OP airway should be seated between the teeth and the lips, and care should be taken that the OP airway not migrate into the mouth. And that's it. Correct insertion and selection of an oropharyngeal airway.